They're dairy cows. <laughs> I'm Aurora. I just got my hair cut super short for summer. <laughs> I have so many ideas for content to make for this channel and I have had no time to do them. But hopefully that will be changing this summer when I have a little more time to spend at home, to film, and to show you guys my critters and uh, maybe teach you a few things. In today's video, I am going to show you the new invertebrates that I just received. And I'm sure you saw from the title of the video and the picture but I'm really excited about these new isopods. I also got another special little surprise critter that you'll see in the video, something that I've never had before, but he can live with the isopods. So let's get to it. This is the soon to be home of my new little invertebrate friends, my cleanup crew. I got springtails, the isopods, and a surprise little friend that we will introduce shortly. So let's get started. Right here, is the springtail culture and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that culture and I'm going to put it in here. Mmm, ice cream. So they're going in here and uh, just because I want to start, you know, another culture I will be putting these in with the isopods. So, let's take a look. Look at all of them! Bouncing around. So, let's take a scoop. Oh, come on, guys. Oop. And put them in here. There. Happy springtails. And I'm going to actually just set that back in there for now. All set. And these guys are going to go right here. And I'll put some on the leaf. I'm filming very poorly here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to set this in here for now. That's great. Next up are the dairy cows. <laughs> so I actually got all of these inverts from a local person on Craigslist. His name is Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. And I will probably be getting more fun things from him in the future. Let's see if we can find one to show you. Oh, there's one! <laughs> <laughs> so these are the dairy cows. Let me see if I can find a couple more here to show you. Before I dump them in. Oh, there's a big one. Look at you. <laughs> so cute. If you know anything about me, you know I like things that are just a little bit different. So I could have got the dwarf whites or, you know, whatever the common ones are, but I heard that he had these and I jumped on them. <laughs> Alright, let's put them in their new home. This is uh, one of two. And um, there's 20 total. 10 each. Be free! Here's the other container of them. Oh, there's one down there. There's another one. <laughs> oh. 
All right, dump these in. I guess this is the designated dumping spot. Be free, my pretties. Well, sort of free. I mean, they're in a box. And now for my surprise guest. Can you see it? Any guesses? This is a nocturnal species. I haven't actually handled it yet. I've never handled one ever. I'm not sure which end is the head. <laughs> this is a millipede. A, uh, a red millipede. I, I don't remember the exact species offhand, but I will put it on the screen. This is my special new pet. Ew, bugs for a pet? Are you crazy? Maybe a little, but they're cool, so... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get him out, and I'm gonna do that off-camera so you don't see me fumbling around. <laughs> and here it is! Oh, it's so cool! buddy. Oh, you're gonna come to the table. Where are you going? You gonna crawl on me? Nope. Come on, buddy. I won't hurt ya. Sure about my fingers. Back on the paper. Probably like, what is going on? These guys, my first time ever holding a millipede. Go upside down? I don't know. Where you going, buddy? It feels so cool. Look at all those tiny little legs. Look at all of those little legs. So cool. Alright, I think it's time to put him or her. I'm not sure how to tell the sex on a millipede yet, but check it out another time. How cool.
and I'll probably never see it again. <laughs> well, all right, guys, my habitat is all set up. What cool new additions. The last thing I'm going to do in this video is give these guys some food. So the springtails, they eat mold that grows on white rice. So I'm just going to put a little bit of white rice in my brand new culture. And I'm going to sprinkle some in the big one too. A couple here and there. Oops. That's, that's plenty. Okay. And then also for the isopods, they are going to get a little bit of cat food. And Jasper, like, where's mine? <laughs> that's probably too much, but I'll check on it in a couple days, and if it's molding really bad, I'll take it out. So. That's it, guys! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd really appreciate you hitting the like button down below. And if you want to see more from me and all of my crazy critters, hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll never miss an upload. See you again soon! Bye!